Not while you are fighting Baron Monte I escaped using my self-propelling pencil. Or yes, the Baron retreated to the heart of his evil domain. You keep the Baron busy, I'll try and find a way to send him back from where he came. You have to get through the dungeon of the fright and the fake you man shoe, the goo monster. Hey guys, it's Banner. Welcome back to Croc 2. I'm sorry if Raps was a jerk again, but this one, I didn't cut the part short, it was rather lengthy anyway. Anyway, this stage starts off with a challenge, in fact it starts off with it. This stage consists of several challenges, uh, all of which are crystal time, so if you don't do it fast enough, you will miss out on crystals. By this stage, crystals are pointless unless if you still don't have enough in order to buy heart pots, but... Considering I've had enough, and oh, well, I grinded a little bit, but there you go. So basically, what you have to do in this first bit is you gotta do this. In fact, the stage consists of lots of little just random puzzles. Anyway, so what was there? It was part before, and I'm doing this on different sitting, because as I said before, perhaps with a jerk. In fact, that's one of the big problems about this LP, may I just say, is that I've ran into a lot of lag. And it's not my computer, it's just Frapson's compatibility with this game, it's just not. It's an old game, and I'm running it in the... Where's my... See, that's the thing, I really did that quickly, and I still only got 15. You're my friend for life. I still only got 15. This one's rather easy, I can do this one quick. Basically, the bomb will follow you, but you've got to point it in the right directions. Ground pounding the arrows will turn it... Anti-clockwise, and you've just got to bump knock them all to the next one. You can't make you jump across the room, even though that would be a logical option. That's not what you're supposed to do. But anyway, yeah, as I was saying, I've really had a lot of recording problems. It's it's not as it's, it hasn't been a terribly difficult game that I've had to yell at it so much. But it's just that it's a very old game, and I'm seemingly I'm trying to run it hands down, and it's probably one of the worst options I've ever tried. I should probably tweak around with compatibility settings in Windows 7, but... Yeah. Help me over here! Why would you go over there? You pretty much know the puzzle instantly if you looked at it. And then the bomb just... goes to the backwards fading... box, I don't know. Uh, I got 20 crystals there. Yeah, by this stage I'm saying, you know what, stuff the 100 crystals on these trials. Anyway, this one's kind of fancy, you're supposed to get on the box. Box! I'm living in a box. Oh, crap. It's apparently a lot more smarter than it was last game. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, I was totally over that. Oh, dude. Alright, come on. I got this. Got it. Got the key. Oh. Jeez, I'm a dumb load. You know what? I could have gone 20 crystals on that. Oh, that's still got to talk to him. I'm saved! I don't know what I have to accent go for. Yeah, but... I, you know, just recording problems, and I think that I should probably s limit myself to games so I can really play. Croc, catch the bombs and blow up the cage, okay. So what you gotta do is you gotta look... You gotta look for bombs. You've got, again with the bombs, they explode green, so... Must be... Potassium, is it? Which element burns green? I think it's potassium, or is potassium like bluish? Holy crap. This is kind of difficult. I wouldn't blame you if, you if it took quite a while. And you know why that was... You need like three of them or something. And you can't see them until... Oh. Thankfully, it's easy to grab, but you can't see them until it takes a while. Uh, thankfully, there is no failure. If the crystals go all the way down. Thank you! <laughs> Make a big enough hole. Anyway, I, I believe this stage is just... A lot of trials. In fact, I think this one's the last one. 
Uh, you still have to sit through three different stages, though. In order to finish this game. And considering, you know, oh gosh, three different stages. Yeah, that's... That's one of the big problems. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta be quick on this one. And I'm not gonna get to 20 crystals now. It's weird. You'd think that they could just tempt you with the crystals, but... Anyway, so just go around the center, because... There's no other way you can do this, really. Um, yeah, I don't like this ending section of the game. I think it's kind of odd why they would suddenly do three stages all at once where you can't exit. I started, I, I had a, in the third uh, trial, in the third room, uh, the fraps just started being a jerk again. So, um, so, you know, I restarted and I had to do the boss battle again, so, uh, it was easy. Anyway, holy crap, did I get 20? I got 20, yeah. You're my friend for life. So I guess, you know, play this stage again, but you gotta play all the stages if you wanna try this again. And anyway, that was the first stage. Anyway, here's the second stage. This one is an annoying stage. It's also nerve-wracking as frick. Bas uh, basically, you gotta go around, and again, tank controls make this tons easier, because you can, you'll just face the same direction, you just oh crap, wow. Good job. I just remembered, you gotta do the butt stomp and try and get ahead, quickly. Oh, it's nerve-wracking. Music's awesome, but... So yeah, you gotta do a butt stomp so you get enough ground. You thought it was gonna stop? Oh, no. platforms, all this good stuff. Ah, oh, this stage knows how to annoy. Okay, it's up on the right again. See, this is probably one of the only stages where you can't complain about the camera. Because let's face it, this camera is in the perfect position. You see in front, you see behind, and, you, and it follows you even if you move up and also, yeah. So anyway, then you have the indoor sections, which look kind of surprising to... The same kind of shape as the jailhouse sections at the end of the first game. Like honestly, they have kind of the similar features. Except this one has crystals just lined out, like goodness. Um I thought I told myself to stop going um at the end of sentences. So anyway, yeah, uh, a couple of parts ago I said that I wanted to try doing something different and I've decided to kind of delay my next project and I may as well spoil it. I was trying, I was going to do Pokemon Blue and I've recorded a few parts but you know, my intentions are a little bit off and I think I should try and plan out a bit more. I don't know, because I haven't played the game in a long time and those first three parts involved a lot of stupid old me. And considering I'm trying to be quite an encyclopedic about it, then it seemed rather dumb, like Mount Moon. I didn't. I was trying to pick up all the items, and I didn't go down either of the ladders. So I was like, oh, I'll have to backtrack. Oh, crap. Wow. Jeez. This stage is unforgiving. Freaking slimes! Why isn't it the slimes don't have a fancy texture? That's, uh, Alpha. Well, that uses the Alpha piece. They're just a green blob. It's like Croc, really. No, Croc ain't nothing. You gotta, you gotta go on that first one, otherwise you don't get enough time. And there you go, got it. Oh gosh, the ground changed. The ground changed! Crap. I, didn't, I think I didn't give myself enough time. Crap. Crap. Nope, I'm good. Yeah, this one's still right. It looks like there's dynamite on, on that side. I don't know why. Okay. Alright, in the door. Ah! And again, don't die in sections like this. This is w this is a time when the health system actually comes rather in handy. It's a bit weird though. You think they would go 
I, th I guess the reason why they didn't go room-based was because they had greater technology, and especially things like the minecart stage in the first world, uh, things like that. That was all one room for the most part, so if you died there, you would have to go... Actually, then again, there were no checkpoints in that stage anyway. Um, it's kind of weird. The one, st the one stage that actually uses like a huge room doesn't have checkpoints. Anyway, but yeah, this is this is probably one of the probably my favorite of the sections at the end of the game. Ooh, now you gotta go left. Tricky. Can you jump up there straight away? No, you gotta wait for it to go up. Why does it look like this? It's on a chain lift when it's really being just floating up. Seriously, the, the wall looks like it's a chain of right lift, but really it's just floating up. Jesus, it's nerve wracking. Oh gosh! Run on those green platforms! Keep going! Ah. But yeah, as I was saying, I was a little bit disappointed with the recording quality. I I am happy about just how I've handled things and stuff, although uploading schedule, because having a bit of a mid... Not a mid, but... I don't know what time of my LP career this is. It's definitely at the four year mark. Definitely past that. Got so much slime. I was thinking Spyro 1 for a second there. Where, where they drop money and I was like, you have to kill them. Alright. Yeah, I know. It's repetuous. Repetuous or is it repetitive? Repetitive. Repetuous ain't no word. Oh gosh, keep going, keep going, oh gosh. Ah! Oh gosh, that was a good jump. But keep going, keep going. Ah. Thankfully, I think this stage isn't that bad in missing crystals. You can get all of them pretty easily so you can get full health. Well, that's fine. Which is good because I'm on two. And I don't know how I'm on two, considering I was on nine when I started the series of things. So yeah, if you get a game over, you just exit up. Oh yeah, cool boss. See, I forgot this boss entirely, but I assume it. You have to stand on this button. I assume you have to spin the button. Now, no more goo for you, Goo Manchu. Whoa, gosh! What the heck happened there? Anyway, surprisingly, that was the boss. And for some odd reason, I don't have full health. Wow. I was missing something. Anyway, now we're in Mirror Land. Crap, keep Dante busy while I open a portal with these crystals. What the heck? When are we dealing with portals? And more specifically, how have we gone to the end of the game? Yeah, this is apparently the end of the game. Oh yeah, but they keep taking him, and you gotta go seven rings in hand here. Anyway, he's gotta drag all of these over to each of the sides of the places, and you've gotta pick and kill all the enemies. Watch out for things. He's gotta place them all. No, you defeated one of the Horcruxes. <laughs> it's actually a very interesting boss, and it's kind of disappointing that they that they put it right at the end of these two stages. Because for the most part, you're not going to be doing anything at the end of these two stages. Oh, sorry, sorry, um, you're not going to want to st st um, st wait, hold on, have I got, there's no crystals on this stage, so I'm assuming if I game over, I'm just going to start this boss again. RACIST! Just because it's black. Gosh, these fireballs, man. No, Horcrux! See, this is actually a decent final boss. The only problem, it looks a lot like Mario 64. It plays nothing like it, but it sure seems like it. What was the game that did this? A little bit of Rayman 2, but I don't know when. Ra I think Rayman 2 actually came out in 2000, so give Rayman 2 the credit of that. But so what? Does the center break, and then you have to fight him on a flying shell? I mean, there's a there's a crack in the middle. Doesn't seem like it. Gosh dang it, don't die. 
because I would really like to make this the randomly final part. No! <laughs> I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your crocodile off. That sounds very fun. Anyway, so yeah, this is kind of a bit of a strange end boss fight, isn't it? Oh. There you are. I'm gonna walk through this crystal. <laughs> it's interesting, though, considering I've... The entire... Oh, crap. Crap. Now I gotta frickin' start the fight again. That's okay. It's kind of interesting, considering that every single boss fight of the first game involved waiting for the enemy to attack and hit them. And this fight, you don't even hit the enemy at all. You just gotta stall him, really. And it's kind of interesting for a boss fight. It's an interesting idea for a boss fight. A boss fight where... It may have been done before, but I don't know any other games that do this. That, um have like a time limit you gotta hold out for in the boss fight. In fact, where is Mr. Scientist Man on when you're doing this? Okay, I'm looking over here. I'm looking over here where the crystals are. Ah, crap. Oh, wow. Jeez, game. Thanks for starting me out on five lives. Then again, it, all, it always does that. It always starts with five lives after a game like this, so it's only handy to such an extent. Alright, I'm just gonna hold out my health. Ah, oh, crap. Freaking fireballs, I can't really dodge them. Alright, come on, scientist man. Move your butt. You want me to help you, because when he's throwing these fireballs, it's kind of pointless. Like, I'll just, like, drop one of the crystals when he makes one of his black henchmen. He's basically buying himself time. For goodness sake, he keeps doing this. A soup! There you go. That's three of them down. That's where I was last time. Ah! He blows! Oop! 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 Oh, look over there. So anyway, yeah, so for Pokemon Blue, I was kind of considering something... something else. Maybe... maybe some different thing, or just maybe just a bit more planning. I haven't... I've only written just, you know, notes throughout the entire game. It's it's not actually that long, to be honest. Pokemon Blue, when you think about it. I mean, there's only about, like, four or so... There's only a couple of rocket hideouts, and really, there's only just one. In fact, in fact, besides, like, Lavender Tower, like, so after Settled on City, you've only got Cycling Road, you don't really have that many dive versions. You've just got Sylph Co. Rocket Hideout and Celadon. Uh, what else? Pokemon Tower kind of counts as a diversion. Uh, but other than that, really just walk around. Uh, and yes, I was intending to get all of the ones in all of the Pokemon that you could catch. Which is kind of odd. I'm not quite sure whether people would like that or. I don't know. Uh, crap, frickin' fireballs! Oh, so that's where Roger Red Ant gets them. I swear they're the same fireballs. The same company makes them. <laughs> Dante Incorporated. It's funny, his name is so... cliche. It's just Baron Dante. Like, I think they named it... Oh, there you go. I think they named him Dante just because it's a developer and then Baron because it sounds awesome. Oh no, no, no! I can't believe it! Not again! Croc, you little... Watch 
Dance my Uber dance moves. Back in the day when portals weren't that awesome. Until Twilight Princess, it took a long, <laughs> it took a long time to make portals good. Look what I found. Maybe it can be of some use to you. It's a map. Don't know what it said in the bottom there. Bondi Beach, maybe. And anyway, that was it. Kind of. Now we're gonna play the end song to Super Mario 64. Or something similar to it. <laughs> um, that being said though, like the first game... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was the main intention of the game. Yeah, remember when we were supposed to do this? We, in we instead just helped out everyone's problem problems. Oh, Croaky, it is you! I thought we lost you forever! Besides the first game. I swear they're on a deserted island. So they were the they were the ones who were shipwrecked. Look, it's the king leaders. The king leaders. Chiqua. Baby Croc. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm a flying. I'm a flying with lag. Kind of weird how he appears in the next shot. Chiqua. So, yeah, I don't know exactly about the continuity or whatever, considering in the first game he looked like he was an orphan. Croc. I mean, he was in the in the carriage thingo, and then he just suddenly gets a whoa. Aloha, 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 aloha. I hope you collected the jigsaw pieces just in case he comes back. I'm sorry, what? What? Anyway, so that was it. That was the game. I'll credit the creators, because they deserve some stuff. But to be quite honest, it's... It was a very odd ending, really, when you think about it. You had, like, a bit of a partial world. And I don't, I don't even know what to put these credits, to be honest. <laughs> um, but, like, I don't know. Considering, considering they were saying, oh, yeah, he'll be back. He's the Terminator. He actually kind of is, in a way, when you think about it. <laughs> and then, um... The thing with Croc's parents is that, like, what does it work in the continuity of the game? Or in the... in the canon, really? Because he was an orphan at the first game, that was about it. Then suddenly his parents were like, oh, we missed you. Like... And then they were on like a desert island, and by the way, they had like another child, so it was like they were trying to replace Croc or whatever. I don't know exactly what that happens, but what that happens. Anyway, I want to give you the heads up that, um, one, this LP is not over yet. There's still a bit to do, and not, I'm not saying, uh, there's a bit like, there's, well, there are secret stages. 
they're a little bit more obvious, but they're also a little bit shorter. We still gotta do the Golden Gobbo stage, I'll start that next part, because this part's dragged on for long enough. Um... But other than that... Animation! Aaron Jenkins! Designed by Mark Stevenson. <laughs> Who did the music? There you go, credit that person. And credit that person too. Oh, I, I want to know if one person did voice. Trumpet, guitars, and violin. Strange instrument choices. Who did the voice? Same guy, I think. I think that was the same guy. Still, one guy, so there you go, that answers my question from the first part. Special thanks, which is basically people who we don't know what they did with the project, but they were there. Anyway, then the game starts loading again. And then you're back outside. Swap me Peter, an odd guy. And I'm on one heart, joy. Anyway, so I guess we'll start next part at the Golden Gobbo session. By the way, if you want to replay anything, I think you gotta go... Somewhere. Is it this bit? Does this replay it? I think this was the replaying section, the, the top of this. The Golden Gobbo doors. Crap, where is the Golden Gobbo door? You were forced to start those ending stages, by the way, so I couldn't choose to do the Golden Gobbo before. Oh, the Golden... No? Oh, Golden Gobbo's up there. Ah! How dare you 3D developers for developing things in 3D! Anyway, kind of an odd place, but anyway, we'll go in here next to the time. I'll see you kids then. Probably about like three or two more parts left, maybe. We'll see you kids then.